What's filling up my hard drive in Windows 11? Well, if we go to File Explorer and we click on this PC, we can see there's all this storage being used, but what's filling it up? Well, we can take a look at that by clicking on the Start button and going to Settings. And inside Settings, there's an option called Storage. So I'll click on Storage. And when that opens up, we see what's filling up our hard drive. So we see we've got about 8 gigs of temporary files, and we have about 3.5 gigs of apps and features. We also have this option here called Storage Sense. And what Storage Sense does, let's go ahead and turn that on and click on the arrow. It will automatically clean up the hard drive and get rid of things that you don't need, such as those temporary files. We can also automatically delete files in the recycle bin for X amount of days. So if they're sitting in there for a certain amount of time, you can have it automatically clean that out if you'd like. Then you can choose to delete files in my downloads folder if they haven't been opened for more than a certain amount of days. So this can really save you a lot of uh, time and storage by using Storage Sense. Now, if you don't want to wait for it to happen, you can just click on that button that says Run Storage Sense Now, as I just did, and it's cleaning up the files for me. Now, I'm going to click back, and one of the things you're going to see is that the temporary files have not been deleted. Now, there could be several reasons for this. One is it could be currently in use. Could be that there's Windows Update files that haven't been applied yet. Or it could be that it's giving you a certain amount of time to go back and delete some of those Windows updates that may be causing a problem. I'm going to click on the arrow here. And here we can see what's filling all that up. And in my particular case, this was a Windows 10 computer that got upgraded to Windows 11. So we can see previous Windows installation files are taking up the majority of our temporary files. If I check this box, then that means I can get rid of that if I know for sure I don't want to go back to Windows 10. If I think I may still want to, then I'll hang on to that for a little bit longer. Then there's all these other options. We see upgrade log files, temporary files, Defender Antivirus, and others like that. And Storage Sense just didn't feel comfortable about deleting those for whatever reason, although over time they would be removed. I'll go ahead and manually click on Remove Files, click Continue, and all those should disappear except for my previous Windows installations. And now they're all gone. It did leave the Windows Upgrade Log Files because that has to do with my previous Windows installation, so that's fine. So I'll click Back. And now I have a lot more data available to me because of those temporary files being deleted. And I'll have even more if I decide to get rid of my Windows 10 installation, which happened prior to the upgrade. I'm going to click on Apps and Features. And here I can see all the apps that are installed and how much space they're taking up. So if I'd like to, I can remove those applications. If I see something that's using a lot more space than it should, it looks like the biggest one is going to be OneDrive, which I'm going to leave on there because it's got some files that are synchronizing. And so this is how you can tell what applications are filling up your particular hard drive. So that is how we know what's filling up our hard drive in Microsoft Windows 11.